A swimmer from Lake Elmo may be facing a long road to recovery following a deadly crash. 18-year-old Sarah Tag avoided a pile up in Illinois last week, but she suffered chemical burns from an overturned tanker leaking toxic gas. WCCO's Jason Randall has spoke with a relative about the difficult days ahead. Sarah Tag and her University of Missouri swim teammates were on their way to a meet when they came upon a crash. A truck overturned in rural Illinois and spilled 7,000 gallons of toxic anhydrous ammonia. The chemical killed five people and sent Sarah and three teammates to the ICU. It feels very surreal, very nightmarish like. I caught up with Sarah's aunt, Brandy Van Gunst, as she was on her way to visit her niece in the hospital. What do we know as far as Sarah's condition at this point? She's stable, she's alert, but on twilight sedation. There's a swelling in her throat and lungs. The vice president of the Mizzou Swim Club tells me Sarah and her teammates ran to seek cover from the toxic smoke. 20 minutes later, he says they were rescued. Brandy says Sarah is now no longer on a ventilator, but is expected to be in the ICU for another 24 hours. So she can respond to verbal commands. There are now two GoFundMes, one for Sarah, the other for all four members of the swim team to help pay for their long-term medical expenses. One of them has chemical burns on their body. Another one has is having trouble with eyesight. Sarah's having trouble with eyesight as well. Brandy is now saying thanks for all the prayers and donations. With a road ahead, that's anything but certain. Being in contact with ammonia can be very severe the rest of your life, you know. So we're we're hoping that things work out, but you know we, we can't say anything about the future right now. Jason Rantala, WCCO News. So far, more than thirty thousand dollars has been raised for the swimmers. Sarah has received roughly fifteen thousand dollars from her fundraising page alone.